Hello and welcome to this time of meditation and prayer for Sunday, August the 2nd, 2020. Uh, I pray that you are all safe during this uh, time of significant weather that is approaching Florida. Today we're going to have a meditation that is centered in Psalm 46. You'll hear a couple different readings of the entire psalm, but also a meditation between those readings that is drawn from Psalm 46, verse 10. Let's begin our time together and begin this meditation with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Eternal light of attention, resting in you I remember myself, and in so doing, I remember you. In this busy world, it is easy to forget. Today, I wish to rise in remembrance, receiving knowledge and wisdom in my heart. Although there appear to be many paths for my life, I feel drawn to this path of quietness, in gentleness and surrender. Solitary in silence, you kiss my soul, and I feel more alive. Amen. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, Though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult, there is a river whose streams may glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns, the nations are in an uproar, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Word of God, word of life. Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. God. God, I know you in so many ways. And yet you reveal yourself to me in a new light when I seek you and when I search for you. God, you are Elohim. God of incredible power and might, the Sovereign One with whom I can place my trust, the one true God. God, you are mighty over and above all things, over all of creation. With your hands you have worked wonders, formed the earth, formed us, formed me. I'm reminded of your power each and every day with the rising and setting of the sun. You hold the stars in the sky. Almighty God, your hands are strong and secure, and I am held by you. God, you are El Ra'i, the God who sees. God, you chase after me. You follow me with goodness. Most holy God, you see me and you know me. You know when I'm feeling lost and unloved and you reach for me. 
when Hagar had run away to a desert place far from those she felt hurt and betrayed by. We see God surround her in so much grace and care. God did not leave her alone in her troubles, nor will he leave me to fend for myself through difficult times. This story from God's word reminds me that God sees us when we feel that no one else does, and God cares. Hagar said these words, I have now seen the one who sees me. God, you are El Shaddai. You are God Almighty. You are the one that I can run to. I can find refuge in the shadow of your wings. God, you are the one who I call to when I'm in need of security and assurance, the blessed assurance that is found only in you. God, you are the one who sees all, knows all, and has the power to go before me, to walk alongside me daily, and cover me from behind. Dwelling in your presence, God, I find shelter and rest. God, you are Jehovah Jireh. You will provide. God, you will provide for my needs. God, you are faithful. God, you are able. Nothing is too difficult for you. God, my timing is different than yours. Sometimes I feel that you have forgotten me or that you've not heard my prayers. Sometimes I get my needs and my wants mixed up. God, you know above all what is best for me even better than I know myself. You know me. God, your timing is perfect. God, in you all things are possible, even what we cannot see, and even when we cannot see a way out. God may be found faithful in our sacrifice. God, may we be found faithful in our sacrifice to you. God, you are Yahweh Nisi. This means that the Lord is my banner. God, you proclaim your protection, leadership, and deliverance. God, you are the one who is able to lead me and give me supernatural victory against forces and obstacles that come against me. If I allow you to be in control, God, you will do more on my behalf than would ever be possible if I acted on my own. God, you are Jehovah Rapha, the healer, my healer. This name brings me comfort and hope. God, you know that I'm in need of help. God, you understand that I am in need of healing. And you promise to redeem every broken place in my life. God, you never leave me to fend for myself. God, sometimes my healing does not match my timetable, but as a believer, I have the assurance that I will live forever free in heaven, far away from the burdens I carry in this life. Jesus promises to make all things new, and God will wipe away every tear. God, you are Yahweh Shalom. You are my peace. God, you are my true peace. I never need to fear, no matter what I face. Be still and know that I am. I am. Moses asked of God who he was to say God was to the people of Israel. And God said to Moses, tell them, I am who I am. This is my name forever, and thus I am to be remembered throughout all generation, generations. From Exodus chapter 3, verses 13 through 15. God, you have made yourself so accessible to me in these two simple yet profound 
and powerful words, I am. These words are followed by everything that I need you to be in that moment, no matter what I need. Jesus tells us, I'm the bread of life. I'm the light of the world. I'm the gatekeeper and the gate for my sheep. I'm the resurrection and the life. I'm the good shepherd. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I am the true vine. I am love. I am the prince of peace. I'm everything you need. God, you say to me, all you need, I am. Be still and know. To know, knowing. God, all of my declared knowledge of you is a soul expression that gives me a kind of an awareness of you. When what you want is for me to really know you. What you long for me is that I would have a relationship with you. The great three in one, the great one in three. I am humbled that the creator of the universe would look my way and await my response to the overwhelming blessings and abundant grace that is freely given to me. I was made to know you, to have a personal relationship with you through Jesus Christ. From the Gospel according to John, verses uh, 17 in chapter 3. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, who you have sent. Jesus, when I know you, I know new life. In you I share resurrection and everlasting life. What I need now, Jesus, is the courage, the strength, and the perseverance to bring your story to as many people that will hear it. Knowing you means knowing that when I give it all away, I gain everything. Knowing you means that truth is mystery. Knowing you is knowing that when I give myself in service to the other, I'm serving you. Who am I to think that I can hide any of myself from you, Lord? Search me. Open me up to your miracle working power. To really know you, God, is to know true love. Be still. Be still. With these words, God calls me to surrender. With these words, Jesus calms the storm, the storm that can be in you or in me. God, I spend my whole day asking you for everything with my 50,000 thoughts each day, with my fears, my anxiety, all of those thoughts that are not all so pretty. God, you've taught me through Jesus that I need to spend more time being still. When my thoughts within me are raging like a storm, God, help me to do as Jesus did. Silence those thoughts by saying peace. Be still. When I need strength and help, God, give me the courage to let go and rest in your refuge. To rest in you. Being. What is being? God, I am tired of trying to be what this world expects of me. What you are calling me to be is so much more valuable in your sight. When I can simply be on this inner journey, you, God, show me shalom, the deepest peace. Being helps me to become so that I know that I belong to all things, even all people, no matter who they are. A reading from Psalm 46, the message version, a paraphrase. 
God is a safe place to hide, ready to help when we need him. We stand fearless at the cliff edge of doom, courageous in sea storm and earthquake, before the rush and roar of oceans, the tremors that shift mountains. Jacob wrestling God fights for us. God of angel armies, protect us. River fountains splash joy, cooling God's city, this sacred haunt of the Most High. God lives here. The streets are safe. God at your service from crack of dawn. Godless nations rant and rave. Kings and kingdoms threaten. But earth does anything that he says. God wrestling Jacob. God fights for us. God of angel armies, protect us. Attention all. See the marvels of God. He plants flowers and trees all over the earth. Bans war from pole to pole. Breaks all the weapons across his knee. Step out of the traffic. Take a long, loving look at me. Your high God, above politics, above everything. Jacob wrestling God fights for us. God of angel armies, protect us. And now I invite you to join me in a closing prayer. Almighty and loving God, I thank you for the gift of life. For the sake of the human community, I pray that we might become the fullness of what you intend for us to be. Right where we are in all our extraordinary ordinariness. May this time in the prayer and meditation of this day be a reminder that quiet and stillness help us to hear your voice. As we leave this time together, remind us with each breath that you put in our lungs, with each beat of our heart, that you go with us. Amen. My friends, until I see you again, wherever that might be, peace be with you. Amen.